Andrew, you're back here in Bloomington for the Change the Play program with Riley Hospital. Uh, talk to us a little bit about what brings you here to Bloomington and what you'll be doing for the next few hours with the different kids. Yeah, this will be our second year in a row doing doing the Change the Play camp and uh, Change the Play. We have a, we have an in school program. We have a kids club online at iuhealth.org slash Change the Play. Uh, it's all about children's health and wellness and you know, getting outside and playing, understanding how important sleep is, making the right choices at dinner or at lunch with, with the food, learning how to relax, you know, not to stress out too much. Uh, and, the, and these camps are, are a big part of it as well, and they've been sort of all over the state, and this is our last one uh, for this year. There should be about 500 kids coming through in different stations on making choices at, at mealtime or you know, quick feet ladders and power up and some football catching stations. So it's a lot of fun. There's some great counselors out here as well. Appreciate all the, the IU student athletes that made it out and uh, looking to have a good time. You mentioned the IU student athletes uh, from many of the different sports here helping out with you. Uh, so not only they can experience, the kids coming in can experience getting healthier with not only an NFL quarterback, but some of these student athletes as well, which makes it more special. Yeah, no, it absolutely does. I, I remember when I was a kid, you know, a college athlete, that was a big deal. Those were those are my heroes. And so for, for them to, to come out and show up and uh, for the kids to be around them, I think can have a very positive influence. You realize, I think as a, as a professional athlete and as a college athlete, you have a platform and you can have a positive or negative effect on a kid. Uh, and, and we're out here trying to have a positive effect you know, on, on their health and wellness. So with the kids, uh, when they arrive here, what type of activities uh, will they be doing? Yeah, we'll have, we'll have a, a group warm up, a stretch, make sure we're ready to go after a little talk. And then we've got six stations, you know, ranging from sort of the mental side of making, making a good plate of dinner or, or, or lunch and going all the way to catching footballs, throwing footballs, running through hoops, around cones, push-ups, squats, so a lot of good stuff.